Plans by the Bosnian Serb leadership to exit some of the country's tripartite institutions, including the military and judiciary, are described by the international community's high representative, Christian Schmidt, as tantamount to cessation. They constitute, he says, the greatest existential threat of the post-war period. He's talking about Bosnian Serb leader Milorad Dodik, who's threatening to form a militia in the Serb-run entity of Republika Srpska and force out the Bosnian National Army. If necessary, he says, the Serbs will call on their friends to help, a presumed reference to Serbia proper and Russia. The Republika Srpska will control its own affairs in a legal, constitutional manner, including by having its own army, judiciary, fiscal administration, as well as intelligence and security agencies. We will re-establish all these institutions. We are here essentially being blackmailed, I would say, both politically uh, and in all other ways by a corrupt elite in Bosnia and Herzegovina, a successionist elite who is willing to start a conflict and war in order to prevent themselves from going to prison. So this is not an ideological question, this is not a political debate, this is not a constitutional debate. It is a desperate attempt by those in power to remain in power under any cost. Last month, a training exercise by Bosnian Serb police was denounced by Muslim Bosniak and Croat leaders, the other members of a three-way power-sharing government formed by the 1995 Dayton Peace Agreement. They took place on the mountain overlooking Sarajevo, from where Serb snipers and artillery laid siege to the capital beginning in 1992. Thousands of civilians were killed in a war that culminated in what has internationally been recognized as a genocide when more than 8,000 Muslim men and boys were massacred by Serb troops in the eastern enclave of Srebrenica. The High Representative's report to the United Nations this week says there's a very real prospect of a return to armed conflict in Bosnia. Despite this, there appears to be no obvious appetite on the part of Western powers, including NATO, to increase their security presence there. Political tensions are part of daily life in a country such as Bosnia and Herzegovina, where you have different groups competing for political power, but you did never see threats uh, of be it violence or be it secession or be it parallel institutions come this far as they have now, at least not in a very long time. Milorad Dodik has for years called for the separation of the serb run part of Bosnia from the rest of the country. And just weeks ago he shared these scenes on social media. He and colleagues singing Serb nationalist songs in their Sarajevo headquarters. It was a reminder that the US-sponsored peace in Bosnia did not bring ethnic harmony, nor did it come with any long-term guarantee. On the ground in the capital, life goes on as normal. There's no physical evidence that an armed conflict is even possibly looming. However, when you do speak to people, there's an almost tangible worry that unless the international community intervenes and stops Dodik's separatist plans, the Bosnian Serb leader, backed by his allies in Belgrade and Moscow, could force the country into a potentially deadly scenario. Jamal Al-Shayal, Al-Jazeera, Sarajevo.